Yo, what is up, everybody? It is me, Indecisive Gamer, and welcome. So, I'm gonna be talking about the last episode of Naruto Shippuden, uh, or just in general, the Naruto series. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be 100% with you guys. I'm actually very sad. Um, this anime has actually helped me through a lot of shit. Um, I saw the episode when I was just a little kid. I want to say I started talk, seeing it in the third or second grade, I want to say. So that was a very long time ago. Um, what was that? That was like the third, fourth grade. Yeah, so around the third grade, fourth grade. I was about eight years old, seven years old when I was watching it. I am 18 right now. It's been over 10 years of the anime. So it's around eight years old-ish when I started watching Naruto. Uh, I first started watching it from the very first episode when it came out on Toonami. And ever since then, I've been hooked. It's it's bringing me to the point where I finally was able to see the ending of Naruto, which is what I'm going to be talking about. Um, The ending, let's get on with it. The ending was actually very beautiful. I loved it. It pulls you by the strings. It makes you sad, but it makes you feel happy at the same time, especially at the very beginning where it shows a flashback to the very first episode of Naruto where Iruka is talking about how Naruto has always had no parents just like him they're pretty much the same thing and he's pretty much the one person who made Naruto who he is today and if it wasn't for Iruka Naruto wouldn't be Naruto he'd probably be a Sasuke if anything honestly if you watch the anime Naruto could have became Sasuke but if it wasn't for Iruka we wouldn't have gotten there. So, Iruka, we love you. Uh, it's very beautiful the, beautiful the fact that he struggles to say what he needs to say on the video recording. Because he's known Naruto all his life. And he's pretty much been there the entire time. And to see him struggle is super freaking sad. And then you see the entire video. And it just brings the feels because you're all congratulating Naruto and Hinata on their wedding. Ugh. And you just see everybody just so happy the part that made me laugh the most is probably Rock Lee um when he's like oh I hope you have an amazing wedding and they hope your house shines like the sun or something like that it was beautiful it was hilarious uh uh the entire video really touched me and the music that plays is very well played it's very amazing I just love the fact how they use certain elements to this episode and they like brightened it up and they also showed kind of like of what's going to happen in the future in a sense. Um, one thing you'll notice is that Shino, okay, if you don't know who Shino is, he's the bug guy, alright? Shino is the main shit. I actually do enjoy Shino because everybody doesn't really, everybody's like, kind of like, Shino, what happened to you? Who's Shino? And it fucking makes me laugh. I love him. Um, it shows the fact that he's teaching in a sense or like he's going to be teaching because he's good with little kids. In the manga, um... It shows him as a teacher. And I believe in one of the episodes it shows him as a teacher as well. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still very sick. Um, but it touches upon that, which I think is pretty awesome. Then you see some Shikamaru and some Tamari. Holy shit, I shipped them since the very beginning. I'm so happy they're finally together. Or well, I mean, it shows them together. They're holding hands and such. So that was very beautiful and touching. You do get to see... Naruto and Hinata at the very end as well as they're about to go get married and that's that that part really hit me is that it's finally ending and it finally did end for for finally Naruto I miss it it's been there during my entire life I'm already sad however I am happy because Boruto the next generations is coming out April 5th you guys are gonna be ready for that if you guys didn't know that it's coming out April 5th um you're welcome but I'm actually very happy about that. But I'm still sad because Naruto, like, now I don't have anything to watch on Thursdays. Thursdays was my Naruto days, and it's not there anymore. Uh, Boruto's not even going to be on Thursday. It's going to be on Wednesdays. So that's also very different. Um, which also kind of throws me off because it's not the same. I miss Naruto. I want to see it. But Boruto's going to fill, fill at least some of the gap that I have in my heart right now. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping for the new one to have Sasuke at least some parts of it because um, Sasuke kind of went kind of disappeared after like the ending of Naruto you see him here like bits and he bits in there but you don't really see him at all ever until he comes back to the village of course like at the wedding ceremony he doesn't even show up which I figured he would 
he just sends a message that says congratulations, which is very funny because it, Sakura can can get blushing from a piece of paper that says congratulations. That that that's funny to me. Um, but I think the the biggest part that I want to touch upon on this episode is the fact that Naruto tells Iruka to show up as his father. That part hit me the most. It fucking killed my soul. It was beautiful. At first, when I saw that, I thought it was Konohamaru uh, disguised as Naruto to get Iruka to speak in the video, like with an actual good speech. But it turns out I was wrong. It actually was Naruto, which then even hit me even more. The fact that he stood up and said it, and then Hinata comes back later and says, you're being the father, right? And, like, to confirm it. And I was like, ah, fuck, it's real. So that part really is touching. Um, but right now, I'm actually very sad that Naruto has ended. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, whether you guys are also sad, happy. Let me know your thoughts, your favorite moments of Naruto, anything Naruto-related. Put it down in the comments down below. I really want to chat with you guys. If nobody puts anything, I'm going to be in forums anyways because I literally am sad and I want to talk about Naruto. So if anybody puts anything in the comments about Naruto, I got you. I'll, I'll reply. We'll have a chat. It'll be cool. It'll be fun. And I hope you enjoy that as well. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. I'm going to be dishing out new content as soon as possible and as fast as possible when I have the time to do it. I'm starting to upload again, so I hope you guys enjoy me uploading. And I will see you guys in the next video when it is. I'll probably make a review of the first episode of Boruto. So without further ado, peace.